Thank you so much for joining me. We'll be doing a short balancing sequence, which is great if you've done a full class and you want to add it on or combine two shorter sequences together. So we want to get in touch with our core straight away, with our pranayama work, our breath work. So send the inhale deep into the belly and exhale, squeeze it out. Finding a natural breath rhythm. We'll use this into our movement. So coming into our first pose for core engagement, our boat pose. So trying to flatten the belly, engage the core. Take the hands behind us, lifting the legs. And then maybe lifting the arms off the mat, hugging the thighs, bringing them to shoulder height. Whichever variation you prefer, just keep working the chest open and upwards. Toes at eye level. And release. So we'll take this three times. Each time maybe challenging yourself a little bit more. So squeezing the legs together, lifting the feet, find your balancing boat, focusing on your core engagement. And release. Last time. So make it your strongest boat. Lifting the legs and feet. Taking your arms where it's comfortable for you, but still a challenge. And breathe into the body. Lastly, exhale and release. Crossing over the ankles, let's push through for extended child's pose. So big toes come to touch, knees wide apart, rib cage between the thighs, relax the forehead into the mat and send the arms and hands long using the breath to open up the body and taking this time closing the eyes and finding your connection and when we're ready gaze forward lining up the knees and hips forward tuck the back toes under and rise up into downward facing dog so if it's your first down dog of the day, find any stretches you need, pedaling the legs out, shaking the head side to side, back and forth, and find the length in your spine, your arms, send those hips high into the sky. And inhaling, getting ready to step forward, let's rise onto the toes and take the right knee into the chest. Step it forward into low lunge. Finding your balance, rise up into crescent lunge. Squeeze your core here, squeezing the legs. Exhale, let's open the hips, open the arms to shoulder height, warrior two. Inhaling here. Exhale. Let's stretch it back into reverse warrior. Arms and hands are light. Using the core, we're going to swing forwards and step into half moon pose. Opening the hips, opening the shoulders and chest. So if you want to see that transition once more, or do it a little bit slower. We can together. So maybe taking the front fingertips down, hop off the back foot a few times to find your balance. And flex into the foot, strong leg. And that top hip, hip is rotating open, shoulders are rotating open. And then closing the shoulders, closing the hips, so changing completely. For standing splits pose. So gazing to the back of the mat, find your balance. 
And then rising up, we want to try and bring that left leg through without setting the foot down on the mat. And wrapping it around the right leg for eagle. Eagle arms. Let's take the arms and wrap the right arm over. Sitting down, opening the shoulders, sending the elbows up. And release eagle slowly with control if we can. Let's slowly find our low lunge once more. Send the leg back. And stepping back into downward facing dog. You can stay here in down dog, building some strength. Or if it's too much for you, we can come down into child's pose. So we know what to expect with our balance sequence. Let's try it on the other side. So gazing forward and taking the hips high down dog. Rising onto the toes. Let's take the left knee into the chest. Step it forward, low lunge. Squeezing the core, rise up, crescent lunge. Strong legs. Inhaling here. And exhale, rotate the hips open. Warrior two. Inhaling here. Exhale when you're ready, reverse warrior. And getting ready for that balancing on the left leg now. So finding yourself bouncing forward, open up into half moon. Keep opening the hips, opening the shoulders as much as we can. Lightness in the fingertips. And then closing the hips, closing the shoulders off, bending the knees as much as we need to for standing splits. Finding your balance by gazing back towards the back of the mat. And then moving slowly through our transition if we can. Squeeze the right knee up and step it over for eagle, either wrapping the foot or leave the toes on the mat for balance. And making sure we change arms, now wrapping the left arm over. Squeeze the shoulder blades open as you lift those elbows. And slowly releasing back into low lunge, planting the hands down and stepping back into downward facing dog. Good work. So you can repeat the sequence once more on each side again if you'd like to, or release down into extended child. Finding your breath once more and just taking in all the good feelings you've created. Empowerment, balance. You should be feeling quite grounded. And coming back into a seated position, let's take one last inhale and exhale together. And bowing to yourself and the universe. Namaste.